At New York Presbyterian, it's an exciting time for us because we have been able to assemble a group of experts in pancreatic diseases uh, and assemble that under the Pancreatic Center here at New York Presbyterian. Uh, our mission is, number one, is taking uh, excellent care of our patients in a uh, uh, comprehensive, uh, compassionate, and seamless uh, fashion. And what that means is that we've been able to put together all of the specialists that are necessary for the complete uh, care of patients that have either uh, benign or malignant diseases of the pancreas. These are complex problems and requires the input of a wide uh, range of different uh, experts in uh, surgery, medicine, gastroenterology, medical oncology, radiology, pathology, the list goes on. Uh, and uh, we're fortunate here to have uh, in our uh, departments uh, these individuals who we've put together and assembled um, to uh, take care of, uh, of pancreatic uh, diseases. So we feel very fortunate in that we have the people here to take great care of patients. Now, in this uh, process, uh, for instance, a patient with pancreatic cancer, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a difficult diagnosis. It's a rigorous uh, treatment program, and uh, families are quite affected as well. And so we also have here uh, the supportive services for families, such as social workers, uh, nutritionists, and the genetic counselors, all the things that come up related uh, to the patient and their families going through these uh, uh, treatments for uh, complex diseases. And uh, so I'm very proud to uh, represent the Pancreatic Center today and uh, tell patients, prospective patients, about uh, all the services that we have to offer uh, from diagnostic uh, treatments such as surgery or medical uh, treatments such as chemotherapy or radiation therapy uh, to uh, uh, also uh, indicate that we are very active in the research uh, and developing treatment protocols for patients who have uh, pancreatic cancer and pancreatic diseases uh, and have assembled uh, some of the uh, uh, very uh, prominent uh, basic uh, scientists here at uh, Weill Cornell to participate uh, with the translation of taking uh, research projects from the bench uh, to the clinics. Then, of course, uh, an important component of uh, what we do here is education. We are a medical center. Uh, we have medical students, residents, uh, uh, allied professionals that are learning uh, to uh, help take care of patients with these diseases, and we act, are active in that uh, front as well. And uh, lastly, in terms of patient outreach, we offer a variety of uh, seminars and education seminars uh, here at the university. Uh, over the course of the year, we're active with PANCAN, the national organization that uh, has interest in uh, patients with pancreatic cancer. And so these are some of the things that we offer, and I think we offer um, uh, high quality uh, for uh, these problems. And so I'm very proud and happy to be able to talk to uh, people today about what we can offer uh, when a diagnosis or a problem related to the pancreas arises. Surgery <clears throat> is, represents the, the main uh, curative option for someone who has a diagnosis of pancreatic cancer. Unfortunately, not everyone is amenable uh, or a candidate for surgery based on the stage of their disease. Uh, some patients, and unfortunately many patients with pancreatic cancer, uh, present late in the course of the disease and uh, unfortunately are not a candidate for surgery because the disease has already spread to other sites or is locally invasive of uh, blood vessels that supply organs that can't be uh, sacrificed. Um, and so an estimate is anywhere from about 75% of people are not candidates uh, for surgery. That means about 25% are potential candidates for surgery. The uh, Surgery uh, for pancreatic cancer is typically complex. It can be long operations, and uh, the, uh, the procedures should be done by people highly experienced uh, with the procedure and in hospitals that are highly experienced in taking care of patients 
<clears throat> who have uh, had operations for pancreatic cancer. Uh, many studies have been done showing that the uh, relationship of volume, uh, both at the physician level and the hospital level, uh, is associated with better outcomes. And we're fortunate to be a high, outcome, a high uh, pr uh, volume provider uh, for pancreatic surgery. The typical presentation for someone with a tumor in the head of the pancreas is painless jaundice. Those patients uh, uh, present uh, many times uh, with a uh, tumor that can be resected, that can be removed. And so they're offered a pancreatic oduodenectomy or Whipple procedure. And what that entails, the classic Whipple, is the removal of the head of the pancreas and the uncinate portion of the pancreas, the duodenum, the end of the bile duct, the gallbladder, and in some patients, the antrum of the stomach. There is also a pylorus preserving pancreatic oduodenectomy, which preserves the very end of the stomach. Uh, studies have not really shown a great deal of difference in terms of outcomes based on preservation of the end of the stomach or removal. So it seems in surgical terms to be a minor uh, change in technique. Patients then therefore have three new connections that are made. The, one connection to the pancreas, one connection to the bile duct, and one connection to the end of the stomach. So the recovery from the procedure is dependent on healing of these new connection sites. So the operation has, um, has complications associated with it. And it's because of these complications that experienced centers do better because we know how to handle these problems because they do arise. And they can come from leaking of one of the connection sites, a bleeding complication, uh, a problem with delayed gastric emptying, um, those are the, the common sort of uh, side effects of the acute surgery for pancreatic tumors in the head of the pancreas. Uh, these procedures can last from five to eight hours, depending on the complexity and the relationship of the tumor to important blood vessels that run in proximity to the pancreas. That's sort of the, uh, you know, you think of real estate. The, the real estate of the pancreas is in a very tricky area. And it's because of these blood vessels that supply the gland, that are, are surrounding the gland, that adds to the complexity of patient, uh, patients who are, are able to have resection and uh, trying to handle uh, involvement of those blood vessels and remove the tumor completely. Because it's the complete removal of the tumor that's essential. In this particular disease, the bulking of disease, taking out 90% of the lesion, does not offer a lot of um, benefit and it offers a lot of the complications that can develop with the uh, tumor. Here at New York Presbyterian, we do a high volume of pancreatic oduodenectomies. Our, our morbidity or side effects are quite low. Our mortality is quite low. Uh, we're less than one or two percent, whereas in the past, in fact, in the late 70s or so, the mortality, the death rate from an operation such as this was as high as 20, 25 percent. So with the advent of experienced surgeons, experienced centers taking care of problems related to the surgery, we have an extremely low mortality, which is uh, probably the one of the best in the country 